most of the world is celebrating Mother's Day this weekend. Like biggest questions that I get from people when I first meet them or tell them about my role is what did your mum say? I'm not sure if you get the same question. All the time, all the time. I mean, my mum, my mum absolutely loved it. Like, she immediately went on and had like a full snoop of the brand. She was really excited about it. Um, I kind of expected her to be a little bit sceptical, but she just sort of jumped in and was just all for it, asking questions, wants the products. <laughs> That's just, a positive mum in the making. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, my mum, like, she was completely unfazed by it. She was just like, well, that's really cool, but you're telling your dad. And then instantly was like, again, like, when do I get some vibrators or dildos? And I remember being like, no, like, dildos are different to vibrators, mum. And then having to go through that whole <laughs> conversation. Yeah, the conversations I've had, like, since starting and she's we've sort of like been unlearning things together and yeah she's very very fascinated in like the language we use online and we've had a lot of conversations about that and she helps me out with things sometimes as well. Izzy's mum is getting previews of all the content. (laughs) Oh yeah. (laughs) (laughs) I love that. Um, In terms of like I guess like before Smile Makers, before they, both our mums got excited about what we do for a living, like what was your conversations like with your mum about set? Yeah, so I feel like mine was a little bit of a niche experience because um, me and my mum are both queer. Uh, so we sort of, and I, I came out quite young, so we were able to kind of have those conversations that quite early and she was able to give me the sex education that I actually needed um because I know for so many queer people they go through lots of sex education that actually means nothing to them so even though at school I was learning a lot of sort of quite useless information at home yeah very very catronomative at home I was able to access information that I was actually gonna need throughout my teens and 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 now so that was really special um having that and having no shame around that even from a really young age like it wasn't I don't remember ever feeling taboo um or like something that we can I mean I would I would get really like cringed out but she would always push forward with it and normalize it um no mum stop talking yeah (laughs) yeah (laughs) what about you my mum was like very like never sort of like did the whole like oh the stalk brings the baby and any of that Mm -hmm. it was very like matter of fact and so I think we were like very like sex positive in terms of there was no shame there but I think and my mum also actually took my sister to her first sex shop So I think that's super cool that she sort of really did like make sure that we didn't feel ashamed about sex or our pleasure. We never sort of like dove really deep and I really don't think like I really started undoing that sexual script that a lot of us are given and that starts from the very get-go I guess when we even go to like preschool um, and like how we're meant to think about ourselves and our sexuality and all that stuff. Yeah, I didn't really start unpacking that until I started working at Smile Makers. So I think my mum's like super, super proud of what I do. And she'd just tell anyone. But like, I also have to like manage expectations because she's just going around being like, Sam sells vibrators for a living. And I'm like, mum, it's so much more than just selling vibrators. Um, mm-hmm. And like, we're like really like trying to unpack something here. We're actually like really trying to change the way that the world sees sex and pleasure. She told my nan and my nan now just always asks me about my love life and then tells me about her love life <laughs> this is so far to me um. yeah my mom my mom likes to reshare all of my videos on her facebook that's her new favorite thing to do so it does it does make me laugh because i just think of the kind of people she has on her facebook obviously your facebook's quite niche so i'm like they're just learning all of these things from from me <laughs> And they're just like it's just coming up on her on on their feed, like 
so I random. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, like sex education goes yeah. through our entire life, and we all learn things at different times. And also, if we think like how we're able to have these conversations so openly now, like our mother's generations or our mum's mum's generations may not have been able to have those conversations. And it's cool yeah. to hear that you're sort of like doing your part in that as well in your mum's network. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's nice. I like to think that I'm infiltrating that and maybe even maybe a tiny bit of that knowledge will go in first time I actually gifted her some smile makers it was for Christmas one year and she posted it on her Facebook and be like oh like lucky me and there's all of her little things lined up and then there's two big vibrators as well like in that like selection (laughs) it was so much fun like seeing all the comments because she has like a lot of people comment on her posts like my mom's quite popular on Facebook and people were like oh I see that you've just casually put those little ones in there and someone actually said like oh I've heard of smile me because I've heard they're really good and I was like yay that like that oh, was I like, love that. I love that she just slipped them in that's that's yeah, great they're, they're, they're <laughs> <they're> <laughs> <laughs> we've spoken a lot about how when growing up our our mums really sort of like helped make sure that we didn't feel much shame around sexual experiences and exploring ourselves but I kind of like flip reverse that I think that there's a lot of work that needs to be done in society about making sure that our mums don't feel shame about sexual yeah Yeah, absolutely I mean as I sort of touched on although my mum was very open with me I just I didn't want to hear it I didn't want to think about it um I think it is really interesting that the question that people ask us is what did your mums think because that seems to be where their heads go that the thought of your parents knowing that you have sex or you knowing your parents have sex is like the worst thing possible but actually once you start to really dismantle that and normalize it you realize it's just it's really not that bad um I can imagine that as a mum you just must feel you know shame and that you just become a mother and that's all you are doing the work that we did with the mums community um earlier in the year when launching the whisperer that that they all said the same thing that they just feel like their pleasure is not acknowledged and if it's like yeah like mums have sex too it's like ironic because for a lot of us like that is how like a mum becomes a mum for many of us like not all of us and like they've they, they've had to have sex to get to the point <laughs> of having a baby but then as soon as yeah. we, like, we've got to that point it's like okay no more sex like we do not talk about sex now you're not <laughs> you're not a sexual being the whisper was like when I first started at smile makers one of the things that stood out to me the most that I was I thought that was really cool because you don't see many places doing that in fact I feel like some places might avoid it because they might sort of think that it might make their brand kind of mumsy um but actually it really showed that it's a brand for everyone and you know it's not just gonna it's not just focused on young people which I thought was really cool one thing that I always like saying about the whisperer is that mums know best so literally like we've had we've spoken to like 500 mums and we've spoken to hundreds of support like hundreds more from our communities as well about motherhood and sexuality and they've come back and said that external is where it's at that, that is the most efficient way to reach orgasm um and that we should just yeah we should all take that on as well literally mum's so best like, <laughs> yeah absolutely I stand by that <laughs>